Good evening folks, um, we're back on the HMV um, Steady Old Master from according to the manual 1967 and if anybody corrects me on that they'll get told because that's the date on the manual that's the date as far as I'm concerned this thing was made now that's not to say they didn't make it up until about 70 because the date I opened a bit later because the date on this capacitor uh, I'm sure it was uh, no could be 72 but oh who cares who cares about the date the point being let's get stuck in Got soldering irons on, meters on. Well, well now what what the issue? Let's just uh, bring you up to speed. I've got it connected to its own speakers. So what we'll do? We'll turn. We'll turn. We'll turn it on. We'll plug it in to begin with. Um, we'll turn it on and we'll see. Collection of processes that make up what we see as a lump of soil in my hand. These processes are the activity of thousands of times. Now the FM radio, the radio, uh, the radio wasn't working, but I sprayed the, I sprayed the, uh, I sprayed the band switch with some switch cleaner, and that's brought the radio to life. All centered around holes about the same diameter as a human hair. I picked up this lump particularly because right on the surface we can see a, a worm hole. Now the problem we're having, can you hear that? That's in, that, 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 that is coming out of the right hand channel. All that hash. Now that hash shouldn't be there. So what we're going to do tonight, We're going to try and see if we can find uh, where it's going in, where it's coming out. So for that we're going to need the signal tracer. And just get the signal tracer. Uh, I've just been watching an Australian guy uh, fix a radio, fix an, H, fix an HMV radio, and uh, he blew up. A, he 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 uh, he heated up a transistor with a heat with a heat gun, with a rework gun. Hey, you should have heard the bang it made. He nearly jumped out of his fucking knickers was funny as fuck right so what we're going to do we're going to turn this on uh, and we're going to need the volume as well because we're going to we're going to listen for it uh, see where it's going I'll turn the volume down just so I can barely hear it and we'll see we'll, what we'll do we'll probe here Let's have a listen. Let's turn that down. See, we've got anything on these transistors. Right. Let's see which channel it's on. It's on this amp. So it's on the right. Why not? 
Right, so it's... Let's turn... I want to see if it's coming down or out the out somewhere. No. Turn the volume down. My hands are a bit greasy, it's greasy, I've just had my tea. Right, well, there's the noise. We're in that capacitor, so it's got to come out of that. So which means, just turn it off a minute, which means, we'll turn it back on, means it's going to be coming it's that transistor there I bet oops It's loud here. So it's there, 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 there. So it's pull that transistor. Let's find something to hold the board up, the unit up. There we are. Where's my sucker? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this transistor out. Turn the amp on with the transistor out. See, see what we get. Nothing. No. Whoops. It's just we probably won't get any amplification. Prob if we do, we've probably very little. What we'll do now, we'll put this back down there where we can get to it. The man, a 
Arena and champion athlete who was well, we're actually talking about John Jackson. Jackson was a champion of the prize ring and the best boxer in the country, the envy of every school. It was just... Just short the output of this out a minute. Short the input of this out. That way it'll shut up. Let's disconnect the... Top speaker, the left speaker. Yep, yeah. we found our transistor, folks. So, what do we need? An AC. Well, no wonder this transistor failed. It's a Japanese one, it's Mazda. But all the best stuff's made in Japan, shall we say. Right. It's an AC-156. So, I need to find an AC-156. I'm not taking the one out of that side because I don't want to disturb that because the arm's working. But... The amp's working without that, so uh, I think it needs an AC-156. Do I have an AC-156? Uh, yeah, I should have. Let me have a look at my junk. I should have. I mean, all the shit I've got. If I haven't got an AC-156, I'll be very surprised. I might not have it actually here. I can get my hands on it right now. But I, I know I have got an amplifier. Uh, an HMV. I know I have got a scrap HMV amplifier somewhere. It might even be here. There we are. Right, what have we got on this? This is a later version of the same amplifier, so we might be lucky. But there again, this had a no I think this had a noisy transistor on it as well. But right. Right, where's the I can't fucking see through them, they're fucking, fucking writing on them smaller. Let's put super goggles. Right. Now what have we got here? AC-128 Might be a different fucking AC-176 Hmm I'll have to see what the equivalent is Because How many trannies has this thing got on it? Oh there's another one there AC-128 They're output drivers AC-1, they're the output drivers them two Er uh, 
that's the diode there, there, so I can't use those ones and <coughs> oops the AC128 that'll be a driver Ooh. what's this one here BC that's silicon BC that's silicon so I can't use any of those what's where's that other amp I had I had a fidelity one somewhere I had a fidelity one knocking about as well which had Which was working, but wasn't working if you see my point. Well, it was working, but I nabbed a few bits. Is this it? No. What's that? Oh, one of the mini amps. Look as though. Now what have we got here? Hmm, Panasonic. Nope. Right, I'm gonna have to get my wherever it fucking is. Right. I think, I think folks, that uh, now the amplifier without missing, the amplifier's gone nice and quiet. Uh, I think that's, I think, I think that transistor's the problem. So I need to find an AC, what is it, what did I say it was? Well, I need to find an AC 156. I'll make a call, see if I can get hold of one. Yeah, I'll give a couple of, make a couple of calls. Right, I'm back. I've just read a comment from, uh, uh, I'm going to call him the H-Man. Uh, yeah, using two. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, uh, what did he say to use? Uh, I'm not going to do it because I don't like putting capacitors together, it's messy. Uh, besides, uh, besides I've measured the voltage and uh, the capacitor I've put in uh, is more than adequate anyway. There's nowhere near the amount of voltage. What was about fucking 20, 18 volts for two volts? Fucking, uh, there's, there's, there's only 15 volts there, so I've got a volt spare. Who, what was, what was it you said? I don't fucking know. Uh, using four. I'm not putting four fucking capacitors in where there should be one. Using four, four seventy UH UF, sixteen volt caps. Two in series and two in parallel will give you 470 UF with a 32 volt raise. Yeah, okay. I'm not putting all them in there. Okay, that look like a capacitor factory. No. In fact, actually, I'll tell you what's on it. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what's on it because uh, I can turn it back on. I'll tell you what's fucking on it now. Are we ready? Let's just connect the meter up. Not putting all that shite across it in there. Four capacitors for one? No. I mean, some people they do talk out of the top of their head. Just because they've had a good day on H's doesn't mean to say that they can now go and conquer the world on capacitance. I mean, I sometimes do take people's suggestions, but not stupid ones like that. Uh, four capacitors. 
Here we are. We're on. Yeah. Yeah, we're on. So, if I now measure this, this is the positive side. Nothing. Now, I'll turn it off and lift it up. Then I can measure the other side. And I can't see there being much on there either. Right. Nothing. On this side. 13 volt, minus 13 volts. So 16, 16 volt capacitor is good enough. And this one here, uh, which was fucking 30 odd fucking volts. Let's see what that fucking is. This is 25 volts. See how many volts is across this bastard. This is the speaker. Fucking nothing. Well, there is, yeah. Well, there, there is actually. There's, uh, there's 13 volts on it, so we could have got away with that. Yeah, there's 13 volts on it. So we could have got away with putting a fucking... I could have got away with putting a 16 volt capacitor in. So... You know, when you've done it for as long as I have, you know, you sort of get to, you sort of develop a nose for what you can get away with and what you can't, you know. You do. You know, you develop, you know, you, de you, you, de you develop, a, you, you just develop a nose for it. You know, you, you just develop, you know, you, you just know instantly what you can do and what you can't do. Uh, but... You know, anyway, <coughs> I'm going to replace that transistor with a new one, and uh, that AC156, replace that with a new one, uh, and see... What we get away with. I'd like to know actually if we can put a tone into it. Just into that channel. I mean I won't get now out of it. I won't even get the radio out of it. I don't think. We've got the top we've got the left right left speaker disconnected. See, we're getting nothing out of there. Oh, just about a little bit. Would be nice. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Got another AF one five six there, but. I don't want to be fucking about changing them over because <coughs> <coughs> what I might do uh, yeah I'll tell you what I'll do just see if it really is that in case I've got it wrong because it has happened what I'm going to do I'm going to pull the one out of here out of this side and swap it over because I know this amp works perfectly you're probably thinking well why is he taking a perfectly good amp apart because I want to find out there we go 
go. Isn't it nice to just have a sucker and just... I remember years ago, I used to have to pull fucking things out with pliers. Just hold on to them. And then give them a good liberal swing with the plier, on the pliers as I desoldered it. There we are. Now... Stick that. into position now stick that goes that way I think the fucking rubbers come off <clears throat> my fucking rubbers come off Slide me fucking rubber thing back on, my rubber boot back on. Because I don't want the pins touching together. There we are. Alright, let's just have a look at the shape of the legs on the other fucker. Alright. So it went. went the two at the top there and that one at the bottom because I remember the black line being visible so Just make sure that we're right. Yep. Fucking else if the fucking thing stays where you want it. That goes up on the top. There. That goes like that. I'll try getting the fucker in. No, that's not, that doesn't want to go in. There we are. It goes that way. The two at the top and that one at the bottom. At least I think it did. Yeah, let's just get the solder. The nice thing about this is I 
set. Ouch. You get a lot of solder. Let's make sure we're not shorting anywhere. No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Now, let's plug it in. Do we get that noise? No. We're getting anything actually. That's hey. Don't put the fucker in the wrong way around, do I? <laughs> Fucking the wrong way around. There. Make sure we connect it. Yeah. Shut up. I think I might have put the fucker in the wrong way. <laughs> oh well. Let's take it back out. In. We'll shut that door in a minute. Right. I thought I'd put it in the right way. Done that, I thought I'd put it in the fucking right way. That's the other one. Out. Right. Yeah, put it in the right way.
Hey folks, I'm back now. I just had Jay on the phone and uh, yeah, I've just swapped the tra the, these two AF156s over and now this channel's noisy and this one's as quiet as a mouse. Well, that, that one's still a bit noisy but What we were doing was trying to develop robots in the sense that the kinds of skills that you needed in the industrial age robots are good. Yeah, that's not bad, that's all the way up. That's all the way up. And if we connect the other one, you'll hear it. Now let's connect the other channel. See the difference? So basically, what I'm going to do folks, I'm going to order two new of these transistors, I'm going to replace them both. I might replace, I might order four, because there's four of them in the circuit. Now we'll go to the radio. As you're working and as you're looking around, it challenges you to think what kind of society you want to build. This piece of art could be aspirational for some people, or it could be... So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get the transistors ordered and uh, I'll have a look through my stash, see if I've got any. Uh, I don't think I have. I'd know if I had some blender white. Anyway, I'll have to get I'll have to get some ordered. But they're the they're the Mazda ones, they probably made them as different under different names. But uh that's where we're up to with that anyway. So basically, basically I've got to secure this I've got to secure this smoother here. And uh, that's it. That's it. Just all the transistors. That's it. Anyway folks. Uh, thank you very much for joining me and uh, more to come later it's a bit mismatched this video because I've had I've had uh, you know I'll probably just upload this last bit uh, which is basically all I've done I've taken this transistor from here put it into here and this is now a lot a lot silenter than what this is so we found the noisy transistor and how did we find our noisy transistor? We found our noisy transistor by using our signal tracer. Uh, that was how we found our how we found our noisy transistor. And you know, electronics is very easy to do as long as you've got the tools. Anyway, folks, I'm going to unplug this because there's nothing more I can do with it. <coughs> I might move this, to put it on the top there, and out of the way. And I might, while I'm waiting for the transistors, I could be getting on with the deck. So I might do the deck probably either later or tomorrow. But there's nothing more I can do with this, apart from secure that capacitor, and so it's not flapping around in the breeze, and sort the deck. Sort the deck out. <sighs> sort the deck out. And I know the, car the cartridge works in that deck because uh, I've checked it, works brilliantly. And uh, 
Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. And um, I'll catch you uh, later. I've not heard from Steve for a while. Steve, I'll try, if you watch this, I've tried to ring you. And uh, I've not seen you on Facebook for a few days either. Uh, give, send me a quick message. Let me know that you're all right. I'll catch you later, my friend. Anyway, I should catch you all later as well. Thanks for watching. And uh, more to come later. Bye for now.